our belief in Allah needs to be strong and solid. Right now, if I were to ask you, is there a ground under you? You would without a, without a doubt say yes. Then if I asked, is there a sky above you? You would reply yes again without a doubt. Our belief in Allah should be so strong that if I was to ask, is Allah watching you right now? Without a doubt, you should say yes. This type of belief doesn't come by sitting at home and doing nothing. We must work for it. Allah the Almighty has said in the Holy Quran, As for those who strive hard in us, we will surely guide them to our paths. Let me share a story with you. Two friends were traveling together. One was blind and the other could see. Now when the night fell, they decided to take some rest and continue the journey in the morning. This area was such that in the daytime the temperature increases pretty high, but in the night the temperature decreases significantly. Much like the areas near the oceans, in the morning the person who could see left to find some food. The blind man stayed behind and was just touching hair and there around him. Now what had happened at night is that one snake was passing by this place, but due to extreme coldness, the snake became inactive, frozen and straight. This blind man's hand fell on this snake and he thought that it's a very nice stick. He picked it up and became very happy. Blind man, a good stick is a is very valuable thing. Later, the person who could see came back with some food and saw his friend touching a snake. So he shouted and said to throw it away. But the blind man insisted, you want this stick, don't you? I'm not going to throw it away. After trying hard, he couldn't convince the blind man to throw it away. Anyway, they continued their journey. Then the temperature began to rise and the snake started regaining its energy. When it received enough heat, it flexed its muscles and bit the blind man. We can compare ourselves in this to this situation also. We are like this blind man and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is like the person who could see. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Miraj and saw the horrors of hell and the blissfulness of paradise. Now the Prophet told us about so many things to give up and stay away but because we can't see the dangers that's why we don't pay any attention to them but when the time comes we'll get into this serious problem that is why we should follow the rules and regulations of islam om is not terrorism or, or backwardness but it's islam is teaching of peace ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasul i bear witness that there is no god but allah and Muhammad is his last messenger.